as makers, we often see something we want to buy, but stop ourselves because we think we can make it. Ooh, look at this. We can make that. Ooh, look at this. We can make that. Hey, Caitlin, there's a new Tesla. We can make that. Well, today we're actually going to be following through and making this thing that we found on Amazon. A lamp! The design kind of reminded us of these wood hexagon candle holders that we made a while back, and it would be an opportunity to use some RGB LEDs, which we have become obsessed with. Now, you might be thinking it would be easier and potentially cheaper to buy it on Amazon where we found it, and we're going to be doing that too. We're going to buy it, and at the very end of the video, we will be comparing the purchased and the made product and see if it was worth the time and effort. This is logical human behavior. <laughs> Very logical. Okay, so we have all of the pieces we need to start building and we were trying to like step up the quality for our remake. We're gonna make like a, a gourmet one. We watched too much Claire on Bon Appetit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to make the fancier version of the one this that we found maker online. maker makes instead of gourmet makes. Anyways. <laughs> We went the extra mile and we got some quality solid wood. This is red oak, where online it looks like it's like a project panel where it's glued up pieces of wood. And for the lights, the one online is just a white light LED. So we got some RGB color changing LEDs because again, we're obsessed with them. Oh, and we're gonna make it a little bit longer and taller just so we can like beat it in at least one dimension. Is that a dimension we're me measuring? Like price, how does it look? How Height. tall is it? <laughs> okay, so now with our pieces cut, the only sort of tricky part about this project is that the top down of the light looks like this. It's like a funky house with a tunnel to an underground mine <laughs> that maybe has diamond in it. Um, so the good news is because this doesn't connect fully, we don't have to be as precise about our angles. The bad news is every one of these pieces is a little different. So we're gonna get the table saw set up, do some straight cuts, do some angle cuts, and hopefully it should go together like this. Right, let's see if we did that right. So it's kind of nerve wracking cutting angles because there's so much room for error. It's like your math could be wrong. Your pencil marks could be wrong. The but blade could be not angled correctly. There we go. This is supposed to be on the outside. Oh, there you go. Is it beautiful? So does it doesn't look beautiful to you guys. <laughs> How are we gonna clamp this up? Are we gonna blue tape it? Blue tape it. Oh, fine. These are satisfying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, in the past, when we've done tape, we've been able to tape it all the way in a circle. This is, might be a little bit interesting because we can't do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we taped this all together and it's looking like we can put it all together with tape. We'll do it a little bit better than we did here. This was just a prototype. But one thing I noticed, it'd be a lot easier to add this slash. Oh my gosh, we almost yeah. forgot to do the slash. Yeah, we're supposed to do a slash here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to like let the light out and everything. Oh. And, and it's gonna be a lot oh. harder if we do the glue up and then try to cut it. So let's let's take this apart, do that angled cut, and then let's assemble everything with tape and glue. Yes, yeah, proper, proper order of things. <laughs> okay, so you can buy angled jigs to make cuts like this on the table saw. We don't have one. So Evan's just gonna freaking freehand it. I don't know why you're so confident. I feel super nervous about this. Like and we're everyone, not even clamping it. Everyone just hates jigsaws. Everyone says they're super inaccurate. I mean, I don't mind them, but like doing a straight line is not easy. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up a chair because I'm getting serious. <laughs> Cause also it's not, we're not even clamping it. And this is such a skinny piece. Your plate has nothing to rest on over here. Are you ready? I'm, I'm, am I ready? What do you think? That's probably a B you know, plus. It's, it's, it's decent. It's decent. The very first woodworking tool we ever bought. <laughs> I know. Jigsaw. Okay. We're all prepped. Our tape is applied. Our glue is prepared. Our angled cut is existing. <laughs> I think this should be easy. And I'll kind of like. Yep. It's like 
Applying ketchup to a, a, a piece of wood. I was gonna say a, a bun. Oh, this is gonna be the satisfying part. I know. Okay, right. we need to be careful though. I think I think let me go ahead and fold it up. <laughs> like that I mean, might that might be good enough. Let's check our squeeze out and stuff. Ooh, it's hard to fit my hands in there. Hey! Even though it's like little teeny bits, I don't want to deal with them later. I think let's wait the full cure time for this glue. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to have lunch? Yes. Today's video and our lunch is brought to you by our sponsor, HelloFresh. So HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit and delivers seasonal curated recipes and pre-measured ingredients starting at 566 per serving, which is insane. One of our favorite recipes ever is from our very first HelloFresh delivery about a year ago, and we still make it all the time. Are you happy? HelloFresh is great for getting you out of your cooking rut and trying new things. Oh, don't, no, no, no. <laughs> they have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, and the recipes can be made in about 30 minutes. And they're super flexible too. You can change your delivery date, skip a week when you need to, and add extras like desserts. So get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh by going to HelloFresh.com and using code Evan Caitlin 80. That's HelloFresh.com. Evan Caitlin 80. Can we eat now? I know. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it looks so good. It's so good. Okay. Time to untape this and see if glue squeezed out everywhere or if we have very minimal work ahead of us. Yes. Yeah, we'll definitely need to do a little sanding. We should get that giant belt sander because we need more equipment. Oh, you want to buy something new? We can make that. <laughs> we can make that. Oh, wow. That looks like fairly seamless. Yeah. I mean, we have a little sanding to do, especially on our edges that got a lot, little burned on the table saw. But I think we clean this up. We do some sanding, a little bit of wood filler, and then we can finish it. Yes. Before we add all of the LEDs though, we need to kind of add some sort of an exit port for the power cable to exit the lamp. And it's gonna be really painful, but I think I'm just gonna make a little. Can it fit through just that little notch? Oh, so flush, yeah, so, so that... minimal. We also taped off the inside panel where we're gonna be sticky backing the LEDs because we didn't want the shellac to mess with the sticking. But like, I wanna fit as many passes of this in here as we can. I'm, I'm definitely gonna need the assistant of your skinny hands. Feels wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you can go ahead and start. Oh wait, <laughs> we need to do it on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> JK, that was the test. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go ahead and unplug this. Oh. <laughs> My heart. So I'm just gonna do this as close to the cut edge as I can. Yeah. I'm like partially going by feel. This is an artsy shot. Oh, fancy. Look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rack the, the, the focus. Oops, everything got out of focus. We can unstick it some if we need it to be a looser yeah, loop. Unstick it. it all fits. Where's that clear tape? I like how like we're doing everything like pretty legit up until the end when we just tape it in. You can barely tell that it's taped together. It looks nice. Okay, are we done? I think that this is done. Okay. All we have to do is turn it on. Well, and then compare it to the store-bought one because, ooh. It's a package. It just arrived. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so I can tell right off the bat that it is significantly tinier, and this is the largest size you could buy online. Yes, so already we're winning. Oh, well the wood is, oh. the wood is fairly pretty. The wood is nice, prettier than I expected. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't see. can't see. Oh, that's nice. Well, let me make ours uh... Oh, the same color. Oh. What about yellow? That's yellow. Oh, our LEDs don't have a like warm light. Warm light. This, one. <laughs> this one. 
<laughs> His colors don't match at all. <laughs> Our urge to chase the LEDs has almost like backfired on us. No, because this is what we were going for. Yeah, a cooler version. So let's compare, let's compare. All right, time to officially compare them among a few metrics. The first one is gonna be price, and I've broken it down. This one cost $39.88. Okay. This one, I'm gonna break it into categories. $26 worth of wood. Only two and a half dollars worth of LEDs because we oh, got a 20 we, foot link. Oh, and we cut them. But the power controller and brick and everything adds an additional $10 for a total of $38.50. Are you kidding me? We this, were cheaper? This is less expensive than this. Okay, that's impressive. Usually when we DIY things, they're more expensive actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was like- That's I was, super exciting. I was not expecting that. I was like, how much more expensive is this gonna be? And, and I will say this is like, assuming you have a couple basic DIY supplies, like the cost of like the shellac and the glue is yeah. cents. Cents. You know? And you have the equipment already. I mean, there's like, some small caveats, but the materials that went into this are less expensive. Okay, cool, cool, okay. okay. Next category. Construction slash quality. Now I gotta say, there's a few things that I'm nitpicking about this. There's a little void on top that they didn't fill with wood putty. It seems like the wood overall is unfinished and a little bit rough. Everything I will like say that. that I wish the, the cord for the light came out the back instead of the side. Yes. For ours, I, I think our finish is better. It's a smoother finish and our joints are more seamless. Yep. One complaint about ours is where the, is the way the LEDs are attached. If you get from the right angle, you can see the loop at the top. So we might have to like shorten that or something, okay. but then I think we could be on par. Okay, so, so winner. Okay. <laughs> Size. Winner. <laughs> I think it's impressive that we got so much more lamp for just under the cost yes. of this one. Now, overall aesthetic, I might call it a tie. I, I'm, I might I, like the little one a little bit better I feel, aesthetically. I feel bad saying this, but I love the super light wood and I love the color of the LEDs. I think the main thing that hurt us is I got like a cheap LED strip. I mean, yeah. th that's I, white. Uh, yeah, I wish that we had a warm white. I think aesthetically, it's a tie. I like them for different reasons. Yeah, I think a tie is a fair... I think a tie aesthetically yeah, speaking. tie aesthetically. Yeah. One thing I want to address that we're probably going to lose every single time is time. Because this took about three hours. Yeah, whereas this is Amazon Prime. So. Now, I do have to say, if you need a lamp ASAP, you could build this faster than you could order and receive this. It's a lamp emergency. This one wins in time. Okay, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give it that. <laughs> but now I think it's time for the most important deciding factor of all, which one the supervisor likes. Okay, supervisor. Which one do you like? No! Do you like? Which one's the box that it came in? Box is life. Nope. No, oh, she's, she's only inspecting it. She's she inspecting doesn't like it more. She hasn't chosen yet. Oh, oh, no, oh, she's inspecting. Oh, she's already spent more time with ours. <laughs> she is labored. Oh, she's interested. Then we definitely didn't cheat. <laughs> what do you think, baby? Does it look cool? Is it the best? No. Are you obligated to say it's the best because you love us? I'm done. <laughs> did, she, did she shake her head? Oh, you know what? She's been a good sport. Yeah. Let's give her the treat. Well, that's it. Well, I think that the supervisor's endorsement was definitely stronger for ours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think? You had the scoreboard. Do we win? We totally won. I think my favorite part of making is being able to customize it. We wanted RGB color changing LEDs. We got them. We wanted it taller. We got that. And I think that's the beauty of making something yourself. So let us know if you guys want to see more videos like this. And if you just want more videos in general, you should go to Evan and Caitlin Gaming, which is our gaming channel. We do two more per week and we'll look forward to seeing you over there too. Bye. Bye. I want to be a team. You put it in here. Yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, this is, this is, this is really hard. Oh, this is really, really hard. Oh no, 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 oh no. <laughs> Hold on to my belly. <laughs> what was that? <laughs>